A new member has been added to the Flight of Dragons at the Towson branch. Page the Dragon is the creation of artist Kevin Walsh. A friend inspired the York, Pennsylvania native to volunteer his time and talent to paint this mural. The mural is over 80 feet long and greets visitors as they climb the ramp in Towson's Rotunda. Why are you here painting this mural? And why a dragon? Coming up here to the library one day, I saw this big dragon mural out here. And I thought, well, maybe they might want to have that repainted. So being an artist, I don't want to go over another artist's work and just totally like not offer something of my own in that. So I came up with the idea, looking at different dragon pictures, of seeing how much the scales that, that covered a dragon's body actually looked like books overlapping one another and thought what a great idea for the library that would be to actually have a dragon covered in books. So when I called Lisa, I told her, I have this design I want to show you where the dragon is covered with books. And she said, well, you can't paint that one outside. The, the Friends of Baltimore County Public Library donated that to us but we love the idea of a dragon covered with books and we'd really like to see it. So she said, so come in and find another wall and we'll talk. So, and I, and I did not know this was Dragon Central. Literally, it's just like there's dragons everywhere in there. There's a, a huge uh, kind of a dragon kite or something over top of the, the, the front entrance when you come in that's like 35 feet long. And back through the children's area, back through that castle, there must be 10 dragons at least. There's a wonderful dragon that's painted up on a column upstairs. I had just not even noticed that. So I was going from this dragon and just decided I'm going to keep with the dragon motif. And I think they had wanted me to kind of maybe go into the children's area. But when I came in here at the end of March to kind of scout out the library, it had been a long time since I had been in here. Like I said earlier, I saw this wall literally and put my hand on that wall coming into the rotunda there from this entrance and I just looked up and thought boy now that's a wall that I would really like to paint a dragon on it was almost like the wall was screaming to me paint some paint this dragon on here and I figure if you're going to do a dragon you might as well do an 85 foot dragon and not a little one so I did the design for that wall space and then when I went and sat and, and, and sat down with Lisa and uh, three other people at, at this round table, I actually set this long design up around the outside of the table right in front of them. They all sat as this rounded design appeared on the end of this rounded table. And I said, can you guys guess which wall I had in mind? And they said, you want to do the rotunda? And I said, yes. And they said, it looks awesome. So they sent it on to Paula who who loved it, and uh, that's, I guess that's history right there. What sort of suggestions or comments have the customers made? Are you including any of them? I decided early on that I was going to keep it open enough that if people had good suggestions, which, which a lot of, just about every customer when I'm in their houses or when I'm in their restaurant or whatever, has ideas that they want to do. It's not just the kids. As a matter of fact, the adults are worse than the kids are. They suggest something and then the next day they show up and you see you actually putting it on there and it's almost kind of like having a genie there in the house so uh, the, I think the first week a lady came by and said uh, don't forget numbers and I said uh, I guess I forgot numbers I said why and she said well because numbers are really important uh, the, the counting of numbers uh, page numbers uh, numbers and chapters and so I started at the time I was doing the little spokes on the back of the dragon and started to hide the numbers from one to ten in the in the back of the dragon. Uh, the first Saturday that I was here, a guy with a blood red pair of Nike tennis shoes went walking by, and I thought, boy, what a great idea that would be to put a pair of Nikes on the back of the six, two of the six feet there. People have been coming by. Uh, a security guard who works here, Casey, uh, was pointing out to me that. Uh, everybody wears a name tag that works here. Uh, the full-timers wear a blue name tag and the volunteers wear a red name tag. So I wanted to put a name tag around the dragon, which involved giving it a name. So I started to throw out the name, mostly the kids, you know, to come up with different names for like what the possibility could be for that. Uh, lots of kids had different ideas for that. So I used uh, some ideas for that to come up with a name and literally just the whole idea of asking people about what their favorite classic books are because my, my last thing that I want to do here is to embed some of the classics 
one of the four words that the library asked me to put up there was connect which is part of their, I guess, their mission statement. So I wanted people to actually see books that they could connect with, the classics being, you know, important. So I'm le leaning more toward doing books that uh, have adventures inside of them that I will be able to bring out of the books themselves. For me, there's that learning experience. Like, I leave here thinking, wow, I never expected when I showed up today that I'd be doing putting that up on the wall. So. You know, I allow these people coming through here to offer their suggestions because at the same time, they feel like I'm up there too. Something that I said influenced the artist in a way that I, something that I said is captured up inside of there. The whole color thing that people have been commenting on, the changing of the colors, um, you know, the, 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 the number of feet, you know, it's all, all of it is there's so much about that dragon that's different than the original design that I had planned. Even the, the, the people that allowed me to come in here and to put the dragon on the wall had their ideas about, they took some things off of the design that I had originally wanted to put on. They had some ideas. So it's, it's a huge accumulation of so many different people's ideas going on there. So, Tell us why the library means so much to you. The library for me, seeing this library is a place where I still see people coming together, you know, and it's really, really a wonderful experience to see social interaction happening where people pass on a daily basis. Being here just about every day for the last eight and a half weeks, I see how many of them, literally three quarters of the people that I've seen every day coming in and going out of here are here four and five times a week. It's like the last vestige of a place where I think people still meet and sit together and are comfortable like socializing with one another and even if they're on all of their separate journeys here for the the reading program or for events that are going on downstairs or for a book discussion or something like that it's still this huge social center in a society where I think a lot of individuals are fractionalizing and going off and like having their own experiences in front of their computers at night.